the Gunfather. Restorations. Hey, everybody. The Gunfather is back, and we're better than ever. We switched up the show this year. Everybody is going to love it. We are more gun, 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 and more gun. Hey, Lou, how's it feel being back at the shop? Feels good. I'm excited. Excited, buddy? Yeah, I'm excited to learn. I just completed my uh, contract in the Air Force, and now I'm heading back here to work with my dad and learn about all about guns. You know, I mean, here at the custom shop, you know, we have a lot of guns coming here. Okay, our website is huge, it's worldwide, so we got guns coming in every day, and sometimes we get a call from the post office and we gotta go get them. You know something, Louie? This is gonna be a great year. The gun father is back, Custom Shop Inc. is back. We're gonna come back stronger than ever, brother. Now I'm excited, let's get back to the shop. Look what the cat just dragged in, man. Wow, look at him in the flesh. My role at the custom shop is basically coordinate with all the customers and um, in a timely fashion, make sure that all customers are taken care of. Yo, we got some surprises for you, man. Let's check them out. Looks good. You know, one thing I love about this business is that every day feels like Christmas. You know, every day we have, we have guns coming in. You know, we don't just care about the guns. You know, we care for people, you know, behind the guns, the people, the story. Okay. What do we got here, man? This is uh, police officer, Mr. Bob Sarno. This is, this is his detective special. We got a package in from Bob Sarno, and inside had a uh, Colt detective special in it. Hey, guys, I got Bob's story right here. I'll read it up. Oh, yeah, what do you got? This gun was originally purchased new and carried by my brother-in-law, Detective Bill Wells, when he served for the Orange, New Jersey Police Department. Bill passed away much too young at age 42. Shortly thereafter, I entered the New York City Police Department. I was very proud and very honored to accept Bill's gun from my former sister-in-law and carried it as my off-duty gun while I served on the NYPD for many years. Let's see if you guys can restore it. It has great sentimental value to me. You know, why don't we, uh, why don't we take this and uh, go give him a call? Sounds good. Okay. Hello, Sarno family. How's everybody doing? Great. How are you? This is my wife Donna. I know. And that's my sister. Donna. <laughs> Hi. And this is my sister-in-law Terry over here. She hey, was married to the she was married to the original gun owner, <laughs> Lieutenant Detective Bill Wells. Well, do you want to know something? It's an honor. You know, we were really, really fortunate because um, Bob Sarna wanted to like speak to us, speak to us, and it was amazing, you know, to see his family and and to and his family shared the same passion about the gun as Bob did. So, hey guys, could you tell me a little bit more about the original owner? And that's for you, Terry. Bill came to the United States at 15, and um, they came over and settled in Orange, New Jersey. And uh, he had an English accent in an Italian neighborhood, so he dropped it pretty quickly. <laughs> And then he became a policeman in Orange, New Jersey. And I saw that gun every night on top of the refrigerator for 15 years. When we get a, a firearm in, you know, it's, a, it's endearing to us, you know, but when we're able to do a virtual call with that person and see them and look at them and, and we're looking through them at like, wow, this gun means that much to you that we want to do it. You know, we know it's a, it's a perfect relationship. All right, guys, we're gonna get going. We're gonna go take this revolver. We're gonna go open it up and see what we're getting ourselves into. And we can't wait to work on this cult detective special. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. I felt amazing speaking to them, and we're not gonna let them down. Mm -hmm. 